People I are like, oh, I read this one already. Oh, Pluto. Yeah. And friend loves to at all times. <laughs> hey guys, I know you are looking at my hair and you like, oh girl, she about to show me a tutorial. Actually, I'm not about to do a tutorial, but today, um, for you in this video today, I thought it would be fun if I did the 50 random tag question so you guys can get to know me because I'm just this goofy person that you see on the on videos talking about hair and stuff like that. So, let's get started. I was born on October 29th, 19... Okay, I was born in 1982. So that means I'm 30 years old. I know, I know, I know. Don't I look 17 years old? My first name is Kimberly, um, but my mom calls me Kimberly. Yes, that's, I guess that's my mom's nickname for me. Like K-I-M-M-A-L-E-E, -E, Kimberly. I have four siblings and I'm the middle child. I have two half sisters, one half brother, and one full-blooded sister. The full-blooded sister, her name is Christine, and we get mistaken for twins all the time. I don't know why, because I feel that we look alike, like we look related. We look like siblings, but I don't think we look like twins, but everybody says that we look like twins. I actually have Portuguese and French in my blood. My mom's mom, which is my grandma, she is part Portuguese, and my dad, his mom, is part French. But, I'm black. I'm black. I live in Connecticut. I want to leave Connecticut. I sleep with my eyes open. Yes, I said open. I don't sleep like this with them like cracked like this. I sleep like this. <music> Creepy, huh? Chanel was still putting in her earrings. I'm just gonna show her little outfit. The clear earrings. The clear earrings are pretty. Yeah. Amora has the same one in her pack. She has clear. Does she wear hers? She doesn't wear earrings to school. You gotta tell her to get with it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell her today. She has clear ones, pink ones, and blue ones. To get her to wear them, tell her that y'all wanna be um. Twenty twins. See if she'll wear them.
Hey y'all. Mm -hmm. I was doing a lot of work today. Yes, I was. Voice still sounding a little mannish. <laughs> I want to get better with the schedule, like schedule of how I um I'm sweating y'all. Um, better with the schedule of how I like edit during the day so that I can talk to you guys and take you guys places. Cause what I do is I um I will film in the morning. And I'll come home work and then if I got to run an errand I would just run out the house and leave you guys just laying there and then I'm like man I should have brought the friends and I don't bring y'all I want to get better with that but I do want to show you this this is what I want to show you I want to show you guys some books uh ah oh, my voice this is just bothering me <laughs> but these are the books that I got for the kids this one came um some days ago uh almost a week ago I read one chapter with Eddie and it's called decisions decisions is devotions for kids this book is good so far it is really good but then I got some things um, for them alone that book is for basically is for all of us for the house I read it to the kids and then they um, then we discuss with each other like that some of them I will read together with them some of them I will read um, like if a story more pertains to Eddie, I'll read one with Eddie. And then if one more pertains to Lizzie, I'll read one with Lizzie. Kind of things like that. Because I do want to have um, devotion time alone with them. It should not always be a group thing because they're not one person. They're their own person. And although I'm both of their moms, I have an individual relationship with each one. So I will have devotional time separate with Lizzie and some separate with Eddie and some together. But this book... It stays with mommy. Now, some books that they have alone are here. This one says, Show Me Jesus Christ is a boy devotional um, for ages 8 to 12. That one's for Eddie. Then there's a devotional one for Lizzie. And this is the preteen, <laughs> teen, the preteen devotional for girls. It is a 52 week of encouraging uh, devotional of scriptures for tweens. Okay, boom, boom. Then for like individual things like for coloring and things like that, because you know Eddie love his coloring page. This is Boys of Faith. It's a Christian Bible verse coloring book for boys. And then Lizzie has something called You're God's Girl. It's a coloring book right here. And then Eddie just loves color, so I threw in another one for him. And that's this one, the Superhero Activity Book. So um, the main men in the Bible are superheroes <laughs> so i'll open i'll open up a couple pages and um so we have this like that this looks like here boom boom i'm gonna open up another page this looks like a coloring activity sensation because eddie loves to draw and he'll be through these mad quick lizzie will hold on to her book for a very long time and then this one says, I have fought the good fight. I have, wait, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And that is 2 Timothy 4, 7. See, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. How you feeling? So it's not just coloring your average um, worldly cartoons. But here it is. If you want to color, you're going to color things that have scriptures. Okay. I should have bought one of these for um, my nephew, but he doesn't like to color. That's the only thing. But I think if I show this to Christine, she will jump for that. And she'll be like, look, he's going to get it. <laughs> and then here's the devotional right here. <clears throat> and then this one for Lizzie, the You're God's Girl. And this is Jesus over everything else. You see it has the... The, the greater than, so Jesus is greater than everything else. Oops, there we go. Then let's see, Jehovah Jireh, God gives me everything I needed. That's that one. Then you are the light that shines for the world to see, Matthew 5, 14. Be different, be bright, and be full of Christ. And here's the devotional I flipped through real quick. This one's developing trust, becoming a teen. Trusting God with all of your heart. My plan versus God's plan. Who am I? Having a thankful heart. Things like that. So there we go. Oh, and the decisions, decisions. I did this with Eddie. This was real good. But yep, yeah, that's it. I'm going to give that to them um, after we come back from Taekwondo. Yep, yep, yep. I'm pulling up.
He's burning <laughs> up. Just like mommy. Yeah, I was sweating. Hey, you guys, this is the screen is blue. The screen is blue. <laughs> yeah. There you go. He was doing that, y'all. And they took me back in the little room to practice my um curriculum. Yeah, cur cur curriculum. Get and it, get it. I did good on the first um the first one. I just had my hand like this when it was supposed to be like that. Yeah. So they, they and told the second her, one I did perfect on. Mhm. Mm they told her to do just a little bit more work, right, girlfriend? Mhm. Mm get it. Good when job. The girl asked me, um, like, do you remember the first one? I was like, she was like, okay, let's do the first one. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Oh, that like, is the hardest. Um, um <clears throat> I totally just forgot. That's what you said? Yeah. Yeah, when you have to do, I said it in the other vlog, um, that when you have to do like makeup, it's so much harder. Cause they won't tell and you. And I'm gonna be doing makeup in that little room by myself. myself yeah. So it's only gonna be looking at me. Yeah, it gets it's the best when you take the test on the day it's supposed to be taken because it's the whole class. That's exactly what I was saying in the um the, the other so vlog. When he said next class he'll check me and then maybe on Wednesday I'll do a makeup test. Next Wednesday? Maybe, maybe? because okay. if I do good on Saturday. Good evening, y'all. We are all cleaned from Taekwondo. Ate dinner. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to give them those uh, books. I want to give it to them before um, before bedtime. I'm going to leave the decisions, decisions right here. I'm going to leave that um, in here because that one's kind of mine. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to give this to them. I hope Tyler's not going to try to run in my room. He always try to do it. There he go. Look at him. Already tried to run right in my room. He came running. What's what? In your hand. I, I saw something that said girls. What is that? What is that? Don't come charging at me. We have Bible books. I'll explain to her. She bought us Bible religions. Kylie, 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 what? Get it. I'm it's just only gonna sit, stand like, uh, be like this because I'm wearing shorts that don't even match my shirt. So. Oh my goodness, the fashionista. Mm -hmm. It's bedtime. Where I'm at? It's bedtime. She's talking about her clothes don't match. Girl. Because I don't have any that does. Who cares? It's bedtime. We don't got match. So you know what I mean. I mean the bedtime is coming. Because I'm wearing purple pants a with a yellow shirt. Well, fashionistas will wear anything. They wear anything. Okay. Why does he always put everything? Look at this, y'all. Puts everything at that table. Eddie, get that stuff off that table. That's not an Eddie table. Bring that into the media room. Thank you very much. Let's see. I'm going to move for Nana. Nana chilling on the couch. Stop. <laughs> Tyler over here sniffing books. You want it? Tyler sniffing want books. It? He wants it. I, every day now. You want all you want. Okay, here we go. Be patient. Always. Don't open any books until you get all of them. Okay, here you go. These are devotional books. One for you. This is called Show Me Jesus Christ, a devotional book for ages 8 to 12. Ooh. I need you to read this. This is a preteen devotional book for girls. It's going to give you different topics. And it's gonna ask you what would you do, how would you be, like and then do we write the in the book? Decisions. Do we no, write in you don't write in this. Or I'm gonna show you the one you write in. The next one is going to be the Your God's Girl Coloring Book. That's the one you enjoy with your pens and paint and, there you go. and That's markers and stuff like that. And then this one is yours, Boys of Faith. It's a Christian Bible verse coloring page. There you go. Ooh. And then I also saw this too, Eddie, for you. This is an activity book, like superheroes of the Bible. There you go, so you guys enjoy it. This is Decisions, Decisions. This is the one that I read to you guys. It will give you a story. <laughs> it'll give you um, a story, and it'll tell you, it'll give you three decisions how you would handle that story. You have to pick which decision you choose, and then it'll tell you this is how it would end if you went this way. And Eddie picked a decision. Oh, I have a book like that. Right. But it's not like this. It's like 
um, My Little Pony one when I was obsessed with li My Little Pony. Yeah. Like, I really loved My Little Pony back then. So then, I, um, it's like, okay. it says, so they are going to a party, but they just got in, like, a big fight. It's a story like that. Uh -huh. What would you do? And there's, like, three pieces. It's like, like which, would you still go to the party without them? Would you try to make things right? Uh -huh. Or would you just go with another friend? And then if you choose a decision, does it finish the story? Yeah, based off it that tells decision? you, if this is the decision you choose, go to this page. Okay. Like, if this is the... Let's say I chose to make things right. Mm -hmm. Go up to page 28 and see how that will turn out. Oh, okay, yep. This is kind of like that. And then it also steers, but this what steers into where to go in the Bible mm -hmm. and why you should do this and how God feels about that decision you made. And then it tells you, because um, then also after the decisions, because see, it shows it like this. After it says decision one, it gives you the way it would end if you did decision one. Then it would give you decision two. If it ends that way, decision three, and then it'll tell you why it matters to choose the right decision. It tells you where to go in the Bible and how God feels about it. So this is the one that I keep because when we have time together, this is what we read together. Yeah, um, I like mine. Wait, like I'm going to look inside mine. I have to look inside mine. And then when I saw this said preteen, I knew. I knew. Yeah, because I'm almost a preteen. I'm going to be a preteen in two months. I mean, in one month. Mama. Oh, you I'm can't touch my face. I just, I just. I'm gonna be a preteen next month and twenty-one days after next. When it goes to October, I have twenty-one days until I'm preteen. Okay. Stop. That's a nice. Okay. How you gonna get the Lord sensations and you doing what you're doing? You can't keep saying names and and of your teachers because that's editing. I gotta do. That makes me have to watch the video extra time. I like stuff that you could color, but it's not a lot of work to color. Like things like this, it could be different colors. Yeah, that's what I like. Stuff like that. Like, little, little, that's a lot really to like color, but it's not color. too much color. It's not like it's going to take me a year to color. Yeah, oh, like this one. Yeah, that's my favorite. And it put that Babe. down. I like this. Babe. Oh, you It shows you a lot back like? there, too. I'm on. That's my team right here, y'all. Yeah. Team from. Yeah. And friend loves at all times. <laughs> oh, what did that say? Boys, Boys are confusing. Are confusing. Oh, That's what me and my friends were saying this morning because we, me and Amora were in a team of all boys in gym. And they kept skipping our turn. Two of them already went, so they went to the back of the line. There was one boy in front of Amora because she goes before me. So there was one boy in front of Amora. After he went, both of the boys, all the boys, all three of them just cut right back in front of us. We were like, uh, uh, it's our turn to go. And what they say? And they're like, um, go away. You're not on this team anymore. Why they say that you're not on, not on the team? I don't know. They didn't. The boys and what are did, weird. What did the teacher say? We told the teacher. She said, "Don't get yourself worked up over them. You two, they're just a bunch of brats and rats but that came out of the sewer." Oh, boy. but they <laughs> need, the they teacher. have to fix that though because that just looks like oh we got away with it so we're gonna do it again. Like you're supposed Thank to say you. that after you welcome Kuda. You supposed to say that after you get the kids. After like she's supposed to they, get after them said, and then come back. And all she so said to them was, "Um, why are you bothering them?" And she just said, "Go to the back of the line." Um, she said, said, "No." All she said was, "Why are you bothering them?" And they said, "We're not. They're just being a bunch of crybabies." Yeah. I was gonna say, "Can I bring the school?" I'm like, "No, no I'm not. They can't no, I'm go not. To I lost my notebook." What's mm -hmm. shun? Huh? Shun. Let's see. Shun evil. Shun means um, get it away. Y'all better pick a page and start dibble dabbling. Get yourself together. Dibble dabbling. Yeah, cause homegirl gonna talk. <coughs> and what's gonna happen when? Should it's I read in order? Is it better to read in order? You can. It's, it'll be better? easier so you don't forget. I just where you where you I were like oh I read this one already. Oh Kuda, like you wanna read that one. Or that when you're like, oh, I read that one already. So you could take like a pencil and put a little light check. Oh, look at it. See, you got social media in there. Okay. Where your little head at? Because girls are always about social media. Boys, they're just like Xboxes, gaming. But we're all about the social media. We're always like a selfie, group selfie. Yeah. The boys at school, like they're saying, guess what? This girl, uh, there's uh, this boy that came up to me and said, so guess happy. what? Your little friend over here came, was in the middle of class and put on makeup. 
I said no. Amora doesn't wear makeup. She wears lip she oil. She don't wear like a lip gloss. A color yeah, she lip wears a uh, lip gloss and lip oil, but that's not makeup. Boys call anything. He said beyond technically it's makeup. Makeup. Anything. He said technically it's makeup. He called chapstick makeup. There you go. Anything that go on your body. I said, beyond well, guess lotion, what? Right? I do it too. I can it do is 8 o'clock uh, beyond bedtime. Do Christ. So before you go to bed, things. put your lunch boxes and cups on the counter. I don't think y'all did that. Night. Oh, no. See you tomorrow. You're gonna do that. Look, it says be you, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> he's meaning that you gotta Nick be yourself. Be he's so happy. I mean, oh, the battery about to die. It's only on two percent. So if it if it goes out, y'all, then the battery died. And I rarely have the battery die on this because I'm always charging it, but I forgot to charge it this time. Oh, well, the lighting is good. When I boot over here, when I was way back here, the light was looking a little different. It's probably because but, my bright yellow shirt. Yeah, your bright yellow shirt took me places. My M&M M &M shirt, you guys remember this? Mm -hmm. Now y'all say goodnight because it's only on 2% and it's going to die. Good night, guys. It is your yellow shirt. Good night. Yeah. yeah. Good night, guys. I'm going to cry when I run out. Like when I can see. Yeah, what, what happened? What are you going to do when we run out of pages in this? You keep it. What do you mean what I'm going to do? Like, buy some or something. Look at <laughs> Don't run out of this in like two weeks, Eddie. This should take you for a while. I'm going to do either one or two pages a day. Then, like Eddie always say, trace it on the back and you got another Oh, yeah. One. Oh, yeah. I don't know if yours do that, though. What's he doing over there? Oh, yes, yours do. He's just running back and forth. Get it. And God's like love this. is in me. What is it now? Oh, it's one percent. So no matter how hard life I gets, keep, keep holding it down. down. With God. Get it? With God. <laughs> Get it? Cover. We have to make the cover. <gasps> Eddie better come over here. He keep playing. Let's make the cover. Superheroes of God. He better be. It's about to die. Why he blanking faces? Why? Why he? What? Eddie, you put your head right on. Hold this one. Eddie. Because okay. he blocked me. I had it right here, so I have to go. <laughs> <laughs>